Hello and welcome to Minipun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix your browser opening multiple times automatically in Windows 11 or 10. Okay, so basically, I never experienced this problem until I started using Windows 11, and uh, it was quite shocking because I do enjoy Windows 11 a lot, but sometimes this issue happens. So I was very, very frustrated and uh, I tried to figure it out. I searched on the internet, I searched on YouTube everywhere and I did find videos on how to fix the problem for specific browsers, okay? For instance, I saw videos on how to fix the problem if you are using Edge or if you are using maybe Firefox or if you are using Opera or whichever browser, but I noticed that my case wasn't um, treated because I realized that most of the, the, the what I've read on the internet were browser specific. However, I don't think that is my case because as you can see, this is Firefox that op has opened multiple times. And when this happened, I decided to switch to Edge. Okay, so I thought maybe Edge would have been different but edge also proved to be the same okay just as soon as the, the pc this problem started showing up I switched to edge and the same problem occurred so what is really the issue i think the issue has to do with it's just my windows uh not running properly at some point in time because this is not the first time it's occurring the last time it occurred I had to simply go to the advanced startup options menu and then did some troubleshooting and automatic repairing and after which uh, after which after restarting the pc after the automatic repairs everything came back to normal so i've decided to uh, make this particular video just to show you how you can also fix the problem by simply going to the advanced data options menu of your PC. Um, I'm using Windows 11, so if you are using Windows 10, maybe accessing your advanced data options menu in Windows 10 may be a little bit different, but it's just the same. So please watch till the end, and I'm sure you'll be able, your browsers would start to function normally, and you will not have this problem of your browser opening multiple times. All right, so how do I fix it? First of all, what I do is that I make sure I simply close all active um, tabs and all active applications on my PC. So currently, all these browsers that I've opened multiple times, I'm gonna close everything. So close everything that is just on active on the PC. I'm gonna close everything, okay? close all apps on your pc okay so after i've closed everything okay then what i'm going to do is that i'll simply go to the advanced uh, startup options menu now in case you don't know the advanced startup options menu is essentially a boot menu and a menu where you can actually access the startup options uh, safe mode and various other startup methods okay you can use them to help you access and repair your windows 11 or 10. now this is necessary if your operating system has what problems starting or running in my case my operating system windows 11 for that matter at some point as i explained to you sometimes fails to run properly and it's just normal with any anything or any any uh, system or any any system has malfunctions at some point in time. So you need to perform this kind of diagnosis to and automatic repairs to make sure that the system gets back to its uh, maximum efficiency. Right. So to access the advanced start, uh, options menu in Windows 11 is very simple. I'm going to click on the start menu here. Then when you click on the start menu, 
simply come and click on what settings. Now, when you click on settings, come and click on system. Then, when you click on system, you simply scroll down till you find recovery. Okay. Now, if you are using the stand, at this point, you might just search inside here recovery or maybe um, advanced startup and everything, and you find okay. So, but for Windows 11, when you just click on system and you scroll down, you would find recovery right here. So, you click on recovery, and then over here, you have what two major uh, options okay recovery options the first option is restarting your pc and the second option is actually what uh, the advanced startup now with the with the reset options please do not choose it because if you choose this option you are most likely going to lose all your pc files and have windows reinstalled so that is not what um, we would opt for. We rather go, go to what advanced startup. And then you click on startup or restart now. So since I have actually um, stopped my screen recording app, I'm going to use my, let's say, an external camera to now capture the rest of the process. So basically, I would just go ahead and click on what um, restart now. So when I click on restart now, let's see what happens. So as you can see, my PC is restarting and it will actually take me to the advanced startup options main in just a few seconds. okay perfect now when this blue screen shows up here is actually the advanced uh, startup options menu okay and over here you simply have to troubleshoot okay you could decide to continue to exit and continue to your windows 11 or 10 but by so doing the problem might persist so I suggest you make sure you troubleshoot. So just click on troubleshoot. And then when you click on troubleshoot, you would find again, reset this PC. Please do not select reset this PC unless you really want to delete all your files and then um, reinstall Windows. So I advise you pick advanced options because the aim of what we are doing is to repair your system or your windows for that matter your operating system so select advanced options and then simply go ahead and hit on what um startup repair so by clicking on this it will help fix it will do an automatic repair and then fix all the um, the windows uh, running problems issues okay so just click on this then let's see what happens it's gonna reboot so let's just wait and see now after some time you know after performing some diagnostic or diagnosis is now telling us that uh starter repair couldn't repair my pc so the automatic repair couldn't work but this is actually because my PC had no problem, okay? Because um, I had already repaired this issue after, let's say, my browser started opening multiple times. I repaired the PC, and that's why it's telling us it has no problem to fix in real sense. But uh, in your case, if you are doing it for the first time, after the automatic, uh, after the diagnosis, you the next step would be something like, automatic repair in process and then you simply choose automatic repair and then you simply wait till the process is done and after which you would have the option to shut down your pc or sometimes after the automatic repair your pc will restart itself but in my case i'll just click on shut down 
okay and then i will wait for my pc once the power goes out and i'll just come and press on the power button again to boot the pc okay and i'm sure and confident that after booting the pc this problem would exist no more so i'm just waiting for the pc to restart so let's see what happens okay so the pc is on again and this time around if i could i can just log in so just use my fingerprint thumbprint and then log in and if i should open a browser the problem wouldn't exist again thank you so much for watching and i hope this helps please subscribe